Who remembers Cult of Dusty? I know I don't, and you probably don't either. Uh, don't worry about that, though. Um, Cad P sent me this screenshot he took of this tweet in my Discord, and I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was really, really interesting. Dusty Smith, the guy who thinks that Armored Skeptic is alt-right. Oh, boy. Hey, guys. A shitty Indian channel is becoming the most popular channel on YouTube. So instead of subscribing to smaller channels who actually deserve to be more popular, subscribe to PewDiePie, another shitty channel with far more subs than it should have. Because Logic, and, and I think Logic is like his thing. I think his, his channel banner on YouTube says Logic, motherfuckers. Logic is what he says. I don't know, it's like his, his catchphrase. It's a bit ironic if you ask me. So, Dusty, I, I'm i going to explain to you why people care. I'm going to explain to you why this meme is, is like a thing that people don't want. People don't want this meme to be a dream. People want PewDiePie to be on top. So the shitty Indian channel is T-Series, who's threatening to overtake PewDiePie for the highest subscriber count on, uh, on YouTube. And that's, the, that's why the subscribe to PewDiePie meme has been going around. And the reason that people want PewDiePie to be on top instead of this corporation is, well, that's a reason right there, that PewDiePie is just a guy. PewDiePie is someone who started with zero subs by himself, started making videos, and through the merits of his entertaining videos, whether you like him or not, apparently you think he's really me mediocre, really shitty, fair enough, that's fine, but... It's not really relevant, though. He, whether you think he's mediocre or not, has gained all of these subs because people find him very entertaining. I find him entertaining. I think he does. He think he makes some good content, um, and I like a lot of his videos. PewDiePie, in a way, represents the the everyman, right? PewDiePie's kind of like one of us. He's our guy. He represents the little dude, the the startups, that entrepreneurial spirit, right? PewDiePie is someone who built himself from the ground up through his own merits. He's, he doesn't have this massive corporation behind him, plugging him everywhere he goes. If people plug him, it's because they like him. He's not pushing this through money. All of his influence, all of his size, all of his popularity, he gained himself. He's not trying to sell uh, products other than the entertainment that he makes on YouTube. YouTube made him what he is. He used the platform that we all are on to become number one. He's the embodiment of that, like I said, that entrepreneurial content creator spirit. Where you start at the bottom, and you work your way all the way to the top. Not that everybody can, but that it's possible to do so. And especially in a day and age where YouTube is trying to really cater to corporations, really cater to big businesses, where they get in bed with CNN and NBC and all these other news companies, and they try to promote their stuff, where they try to court in Will Smith and all these other um, already extremely fam famous celebrities to come into YouTube and you know, get the views and um, really push the popularity of the platform. I think that there's going to be a time in the future where YouTube really doesn't, it isn't going to like the idea of just anybody out there making videos. A part of it, I think, does get into the us versus them, old media versus new media, because Dusty, you're, you're part of the new media in a way, and I am too, and they don't like that. YouTube doesn't, uh, YouTube would much rather have this big faceless corporation that toes the line and says the right things that they can control or that they can have, you know, abide by uh, certain guidelines that they want. They would much rather have them be the ones in charge and have them be the ones with the popularity instead of people like PewDiePie. I mean, think of all the people out there, like, like you, for instance. Uh, and they don't have to be SJWs or just leftists. They could just be corporate, you know, entities and things of that nature. Do you think that they want PewDiePie to be the number one guy? Do you think that of all the people and all the entities in the world, they want PewDiePie, just some guy who's kind of a who's kind of a shitlord? You think they want him at the top with all this influence, tossing out red pills and all that thing? No, I, I don't think they do. Um, also, by the way, the, the point of your video, you know you could sub to like a lot of people at once. It's not, it's not like if I sub to PewDiePie, I'm taking away subs from other people, right? And, and PewDiePie does things like, um, he shouts out smaller channels, like, um, 
what's that? Memeology 101. He shouted out Memeology 101, got him a boost. And he does things like that. Just being mentioned by PewDiePie brings a huge sub boost to a lot of these smaller channels, which is really great. And like his content or hate it, you clearly hate it and you think it's terrible. You think it has far more subs than it should have, which, which isn't true, I don't think. I think. I think that he's deserved all the subs that he gets. PewDiePie, is, he represents the individual content creator. He doesn't represent a massive corporation that we can't talk to, that doesn't give a damn about us, who isn't in this for us. PewDiePie is on our side. PewDiePie is in this for us. He's for the little guy. And it's very clear that you have a hate boner for old Pewds. Um, and that's a shame. I think, I think he's a good person. I, think he, I really do think that he's a good guy. And I'm glad that of all the people in the world who could be number one, and it could be anybody on number one. I mean, imagine if, if fucking um, one of these late night shows was number one. Fuck that shit. Think of all the terrible, horrible, nasty people out there who could be number one. But we got PewDiePie, and I think that's a really good thing for people like you and me. I mean, I'm a part of me is really amused that this upsets you so much. And that you don't understand the reason kind of behind the meme. You don't get the principle here. But um, as little as I know about you, Cult of Dusty, one thing I have learned is that um, you, don't, you don't really do the whole logic thing that you tout on your YouTube banner.